Hey friends, how's everybody doing? Welcome to Deborah's Journey. My name is Deborah, and on this channel, I budget, I cash stuff, and I am in the process of paying off a $50,000 student loan debt. Won't you consider joining me on my journey? So today, I thought I would do some cash stuff into my Make It Happen binder. My Make It Happen binder is composed of three categories. The first two, um, I have retirement, I have a debt category, and I have a 100 envelope savings challenge booster category that I'm trying to hurry up and get that challenge finished. So I have two challenges for each area. And last month, or either in June, I emptied out the ones for debt, and I went ahead and made my debt payment. So those are empty. And so I am going to be adding some more money. I'm going to continue playing the games I was playing with those. I'm going to introduce a new game and I'm going to finish a challenge. I have a lot to do today. I'm also getting ready to announce the fourth Watch It Crew and I'm going to do something different when it comes to my giftaways. I'm going to get started today with one. Stay tuned. <music> getting a little bit of that muggy weather where it's hot and it's stale heat so there's no breeze and so um, I'm not used to that <laughs> I'm just not used to that kind of weather I'm sweating and I'm very uncomfortable so I'm gonna try to get through this video quickly so that I can uh, go outside maybe get a little more fresh air out there because it is later in the day I hope everybody had a good weekend. I had a super busy weekend. I actually did a lot. I got a lot accomplished. I went to visit a family member. I um, went to the grocery store. I went to the beach. I actually went to the beach with some of my um, friends. Somebody was celebrating a birthday. Nice to be near the ocean and it was beautiful. The weather was so pretty and there was a wonderful breeze out there. But I live more inland, so in my area, we just get stale heat. And even in the evening, it's still very hot. I also did a lot of housework this weekend. So with the heat and the housework and the grocery shopping and running around, I went to church today. It was a full weekend. And now I'm gonna be winding down and getting myself prepared for tomorrow because I have to go back to work. How was your weekend? Let me count my money first, just so I can let you know what I have here. I have a total of 20, 35, 45, 55, 65, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so I have $75. Okay, everybody, this cash stuffing should go pretty quickly because I don't even have $100. I'm not complaining. I'm happy to have anything to do my cash stuffing, and I appreciate having that amount but it shouldn't take me as long. So let me just kind of open this binder up and tell you what I'm doing first off. And then I'm going to go from there. Um, but you know what, before I get started, let's talk about the Watch It Crew number four. So I'm getting ready to introduce that group. So if you're new to the Watch It Crew or you don't know what it is, I play the playlist for everybody on that crew. And it's not just a one-time play. I usually play it between, I would say three to six times, depending on how many videos are in their playlist. But I will keep on repeat, and I do it for two weeks straight. And then during that two-week time, it's just not me. I'm inviting you to play their playlist too, so that they can make some traction in their watch hours. Watch hours are what you need to eventually get monetized. Watch hours and subscribers, you need 4,000. And it's usually typically harder to get those than the subscribers. So what do we do in this community? We help one another to boost their watch hours. If you have a channel less than a year old, you really want to make sure you're getting your watch hours up because once the year mark hits, you start losing hours daily. So you're sort of going against the clock trying to beat that. Okay, so without further ado, let me introduce the Watch It Crew number four. First channel is Trina 
hippies, puppies, kittens, budgets. The second channel is an oldie but goodie, budget stuff save repeat, and that's Melissa's channel. And the third channel is make money, save money, and that's Tammy's channel. And our fourth channel is Simply Sarah Saves. So all four of these channels, all four of these wonderful people need their watch hours played. They would like your support. To make it easier, if you want to be in a future Watch It crew, then all you need to do is leave the comment, count me in. And that way I will know without a doubt you're interested in being a part of a Watch It crew. And that's it. So let's get started. Let's support these channels. Let's watch their playlists. They're linked in my description so that you can go directly to their channel. I really appreciate everybody who's been supporting the Watch It crew. Okay, so now I am going to start on this. Uh, my first envelope is my retirement envelope. I'm putting money towards my investing and retirement accounts. I'm just adding additional money. Um, I usually put $20, so I'm going to add $20 to this. And I've been using this money bag challenge from D's Digital World, and that way it helps me to stay on track. And so each bag, I've been giving it a $20 designation. And so based on this, I should have 140. So let me count my money. And I want to see if I do have 140. 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, and 40. So I have 140 for my retirement um, envelope. Probably when I get to 200, I will invest that money. All right, I'm gonna go out of order because I want to finish a challenge first. And that is my gnome challenge. And this comes from Star Budgets. And so I think I can finish this. It says save 100. And I believe these are all small amounts, but it's better just to see before we say that. Okay, so I'm going to be scratching as much of these off as I can because I want to finish this. Okay, so this one is a dollar. That's two, five, that's eight dollars. Eight and seven is fifteen dollars. That's nineteen. So fifteen and four is nineteen. This is a two, so that makes it 21 so far. And the final one is a one, so it's 26. So I should be adding $26 to this, and then I will be finished with this challenge. And this money is going to my 100 envelope challenge. So let's go, that's 10, 15, 20. Let me just take another five. Okay, so that's 20. So I have 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. And now I'm going to add up how much money is going to my 100 envelope challenge because I'm happy I get to finally work on that one and add some more money. So I will be Adding to my 100 envelope challenge, 20, 40, 60, 80, 95, 105, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Wow, I was way over. I think it's because I used this for, for some of my mini stuffings and I had extra money. $117, guys, that is excellent. So this money will be going to my 100 envelope challenge when I'm ready to stuff that one. So let's do our Donkey Kong. And I'll probably just, I don't know, do maybe one. All right, so I don't have that much left, but I'm gonna do the Donkey Kong. And I'm gonna use one dice. And I still have some spots that I didn't do anything with. And every um, character, princess, a ball of fire, and the barrel, they're all worth $5. So everything, and then the other ones are just numbers. 
Okay, so let's go. So I picked five. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five. Skip the space so I go here, and that's a four. So that means I have four to add to this. I'm gonna do one more. Let me do one more. Okay. And that's one. So I am going to, the next one says, Mario used a hammer, go forward two spaces. So that's one, two, and it's five. So I had a four and a five. That's nine dollars. So I'm going to add nine dollars to this. And a four, one, two, three, and four. I think I'm going to just do ten because I don't want to lose my singles <laughs> for some reason. I feel like I am. So I'm going to add ten dollars even though it said nine. And so we're going to start on this one again for debt. And I'm going to try to finish that board. And then when I finish it again, I will make a debt payment. And then I may be done with this. Or I may go back around and try to finish it. Let me go to the Disney Challenge. This one comes from um, Donna Power by Creativity. Actually, the Donkey Kong Challenge comes from the Craft Bin. Um, and that one I found on Etsy. So I am going to um, start it go. And let's see what number I come up with. I may only do one because your girl is running out of money already. <laughs> okay, that's five. So here I'm gonna do, that's one, two, three, four, and five. So I owe this challenge $8. I'm gonna add five, six, seven, and eight. And this challenge, I've already taken whatever I had in here. I believe it was about $80, and then that was sent to my debt payment. I've used it for one of my credit card payments, so I'm restarting that. So I'm gonna add $8 to this, and same thing, I'm gonna go around the board. Oh, I had an extra dollar, okay. So now I have $9, I don't know how that happened. I have $9 in here. So this will go to debt once I go around the board. I have a new game here. It's called Pie Contest. And this comes from the craft bin as well. And this one, you roll a dice and then you just go up the ladder. And whoever gets to the top, that's the pie that wins. And I guess if whatever pie I pick, I'm going to hopefully get that a piece of that pie. I would like to get cheesecake. That's number one. That's one of my favorites, cream cheese, actually. Um, and then pecan is next, and then key lime. Okay, so let me roll one die, so I'm going to get, get this going and get this one started. Okay, so that is two. So I have eight, the first two. Now, it got cut off a little bit, but this is a two, so I'm going to start there. So I have two dollars. Should I go? I'm going to go one more time. Let me go once. One more. And that's a one. <laughs> so that's three dollars. And I'm going to get some change. Let me get change from this challenge I just finished. Two, three, four, and five. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I have a two and a one, and that's three dollars. So that's one, two, and three. So should I go again, or should I? If I do shut the box, I really think I'm gonna end up owing more money. So I'm gonna go again. Let's go again. I think, I don't think I have enough money for shut the box. Okay, I have another two. So that would be actually $5 now. Okay. So I'll take all the singles and I'll put a five in here. And so we will stop at the um, $5 mark to get this game going. This one will be going towards investing. I have my shut the box. I am gonna try to finish one line. I may end up with an IOU and I probably will because I only have about $5 here. So. 
it is what it is. I'll just use some of my personal money. Oh, this one is also going to my 100 envelope challenge. Um, yeah. Okay, so I have a four and a four. I can do eight. Let me do a lighter color. Okay, so I'm going to do eight. Keep going. That's a four and a two. That's six. Five and two. That's seven. The high ones. I want to get rid of those numbers for sure. Uh, that's six. A four and a two. So I will have to uh, probably get rid of the five and the one. I want this nine gone. Okay, what number? Five. That's six. I have a. I have to do the four and the two. Eh. The nine and the three are left. So I. I really would need double sixes. Would be perfect. Um. Should I do? I have to do one. I have to do two dice because I have a nine, and they only go up to six. So let's go. Let's see what this is going to give us. Come on. So I have six. I need two sixes, not. A three and a three so that means twelve dollars is what is going to be owed to this challenge so let's see i need twelve dollars and i only have one two three four five and six so i owe this challenge six dollars unfortunately i will have a six dollar iou and i will take that for my personal money but at least i was able to put something in shut the box because i have not played this for a while and I always enjoy playing this game. Um, let me share with you how much I have saved so far and shut the box. I have 20, 40, 50, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. So $72 is a really good amount. I'll definitely go over $100 when I finish this. If you um, have been following me for a while, I'm sure you saw this planner. It's the Clever Fox Large Budget Planner. I did a review of this planner, and I'm going to link that video above. Watch it so you can really see what's in the pages, and you can do a look through. I have not written or done anything. This is a brand new planner. It has not been used by me, and so somebody is going to get this. So if you're interested in your comment, you're just going to put hashtag Fox, and that's all. Put hashtag Fox. This is going to be a quick turnaround. So Friday, the 9th of August, I will be announcing the winner. So that means you have until Thursday to enter. Thursday, August 8th, and then on the 9th, I'll be announcing the winner of this planner. So if you're interested, please enter. Good luck. I'm going to be doing a few more pop-up giftaways throughout the month. But this will be the first item for August. Hey everybody, I want to thank you all for joining me. Um, I know school is starting back. Kids are going back to school. This is a huge birthday month. There's a lot of Leos and Virgos out there. Um, happy birthday to all of my friends out there if this is your birthday month. And um, be safe out there. Stay cool. And take care. And I'll see you around. <laughs>